This is the road that goes to the Moomba Lounge, which is the location that uh, Deepak and Satish, his lawyer, told me that's where they were dropped off. I confirmed that when I was at the police station. Uh, they did say that, yes, the drop-off point was at the gravel road right up here. At one time, there was a road that led from the main highway directly to the Moomba Lounge. And the proximity between the Moomba Lounge and the Marriott is probably 100 feet between the both of them. Over the past number of years, most of the general public thought that the drop-off point for Natalie was at the Fisherman's Huts, which is further on down the, the road. Just recently, we learned that the actual drop-off point was here at the Moomba Lounge. I didn't believe the story because we all thought it was at the Fisherman's Huts, but the police have now confirmed that this is the drop-off point. Yorin claims that he left Natalie at the beach and then later texted or called the Cowper brothers to pick him up. And it was later determined that the text and phone calls that he allegedly made never occurred. When Gabriel told me that the drop-off point was here at the Moomba Lounge, it keyed me off because no one really knew that except for me, the Capo's lawyers, and the Aruban police. How John would know it, it's just beyond me. If he hadn't have spoken to Jorn Vandersloot, he would not have known that detail. Natalie's room was on the lower floor of that building that we're seeing right there. If you'll move on over here to this direction, this is the Marriott Hotel. That is a spyglass tower where another search took place approximately two years ago. Sometime in 2012, someone came forward and said that he witnessed Natalie and Yorin at the Marriott Hotel while it was under construction, and Yorin supposedly placed her up under the foundation. I went down there with a dog, and we found nothing. Immediately after this search, I came to the conclusion that, uh, you know, we've been through this thing time after time after time after time and we just couldn't take it anymore. And uh, I decided then that if there any other leads came in, I would not disclose it to my immediate family members until I was absolutely sure that we had some. And that's what we're working on now. Okay.